Yep. Yep, thanks for hosting. I want to see this race on YouTube. Michael. Thanks for hosting. I'll definitely join one of these. As we're running, we got some green flag laps going. Kathy Kraft, got to tip your hat to Kathy Kraft. Uh, I think there was actually a couple uh, uh, females in the race tonight. Uh, I believe she's the only one left out on the track. I think I saw an Elizabeth out there earlier. And uh, it's good to see some females out here. And uh, we're definitely looking for more female, or for any females for that matter, to come racing with us. Keep these men in order. And... Uh, keep them all checked up and uh, you know obey it seems that anytime that you have a female on team speak or a female in the room all the guys are on their best behavior so thank you very much Kathy let's go in on board with Kathy Kraft let's give her her due and let's go on board and watch her run a lap around here at Bristol Motor Speedway in the street stock cars Kathy currently scored in ninth, working her way up through there, started near the back of the pack, I believe, tonight, as Dalton Tucker in the 99. I believe is back up to the uh, resu resumed his position back up in first place. Let's head back up to the leaders right now as we go along. There is Dustin Riccioni. Dalton Tucker in the 99 followed by Scott Eckrick. Scott Eckrick in there in the one who had led earlier looking to get his lead back there. The 99 car, actually a Class A driver, and so is Scott. Both Class A drivers up front there. That should uh, clue you in a little bit. There's Justin Steiner in third position. There in the 24, running in third position, watching the battle go up on in front of him. These guys looking to uh, get around uh, the 99, and the one does get around the 99. He does get around though 99 and he's going to take first position. Come across the stripe this time by and the one car will take it over. There's Scott with the 99 down low. 99 down low looking to take it over again. We have another lead exchange right here. There at the stripe. 99 will take that lap from the one. Back and forth, left and right, up and down. Holy shit, it's really hard to keep track of all this shit going on. Lots of exchange for first position right now. All right, well, Michael, uh, <coughs> the race has defeated me. I can no longer go on. Uh, thank you for hosting. It was fun uh, since uh, 31 got out. And uh, I'll go watch that race. Uh, and thank you for hosting again. The 99 and the 1 still battling for first and second position as we slide back through the rest of the field, which I'm afraid to do because I'm afraid we're going to miss all the action here up front. All right, let's go through the running order, ladies and gentlemen, as they run now by on lap 126. Who would have thought lap 126 here in the street stocks at Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee here tonight that we would have still have so many cars out on the track given that they're all trying, looking for YouTube fame, which you won't get it because I only have about 50 followers on YouTube. So uh, that was a lie there in the beginning. Sorry to uh, reel you in, but uh, you fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker here on Norgar TV because I am funny that way. The 48 gets out of the way of the leaders as he lets them go by and let them race out their race. 
So uh, you guys who actually thought you were going to get YouTube famous here on Norgar TV and my Clones in Joe channel, all I have to say to you is, <laughs> sorry, yeah, it's not going to happen. But I, may, I still may put this race up on YouTube. We'll see what happens here. As a 24 comes down, he is running in third position. <coughs> Gets by the 48. The 48 car running in uh, 12th position. He is uh, 48 car, 48 car, 48 car. 48 car is... 48 car is 19 laps down right now. Looking to improve his position, which he can do if he keeps it out there. Let's go through the rest of the field. There's Justin Steiner in third position. Eighth position, Kathy Kraft has moved up to eighth. She's gained a position since the last time we checked in with her. Jordan Malish, a.k.a. Racer in the 94. He is up to tenth. James Wilms running a good hard sixth position right there, trying to work on Joel Hawkins. There is a lot of bragging rights going on here between 6th and 7th position right now. These guys are teammates. They do run in James the same league, but they don't James like one another. And uh, James wants to get by the 08. The 08 goes up high. The 08 does go up high. The 12 can't quite do it down there on the inside. This is the battle for 6th position. James crosses it up, tries to go up high. Joel is running the middle line, making sure James is completely screwed all the way around. Good job there, Joel. Way to, good way to go, Joel. Joel is good at every track we go to, ladies and gentlemen. Every every race that we race in our league, the Northgard TBI Racing League, if you're interested, send me a message. And uh, we're still in the middle of our rookie or last rookie series uh, this, uh, this season. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a race at Thompson uh, International Speed, or uh, Thompson Raceway, sorry. Thompson Raceway tomorrow in the street stock cars and Joel is always the number one on the head honcho list this is the guy that we're always chasing every week he is dominant everywhere we go and just getting in front of him in front of this guy is is a feat in itself he is a very good racer uh, he's a very accomplished road course racer and uh, He's still kind of new to ovals, but he's taking them to light. He's taking them very good. As James goes on by the inside there, he's going to take the position away from Joel. But Joel is not done fucking with him yet. Down on the inside, the 08. Oh, the 08 and the 12 going at it. We need a closer view of this shit going on right now. Holy crap. This is some good ass racing right now between Joel Hawkins and James Wilms on the outside everybody's gunning for Joel and James gets by him slides up in front of him but I don't think Joel's done with him just quite yet I see uh, leaders I'm gonna give you a little line here on lap 100 well they're on lap 135 Joel falls back to seventh position James takes over sixth. Jordan moves out of the way of the 99 and the one as they come by right now the 99 and the 1 going by lap traffic as we go around and around. There we go. We hit the stripe here on lap number 100. And let's go up with I'm the leader so we can me. see. 140, ladies and gentlemen. 140. Long ass way to go before we get to the end. These guys have no idea what I planned in store for them. It sounds like a lot of laps, ladies and gentlemen, but it is 112.5 miles. It is not that far. And uh, you should be able to race this far, but uh, some guys wouldn't, couldn't hang, and uh, had to drop out of the races early because of uh, attitude and or uh, uh, wrecks. But uh, as we look here at uh, Dustin Rick Riccioni, Riccioni driving the 17, he's currently scored in fifth position, driving for Trading Paints, no name brand vehicle this week. Good job. Oh, I hear a car in the wall. The 05 gets into the wall. The 05 being driven by Michael Redding, your earlier re leader. He's up into the wall. Class A driver passes Class A driver. Not too much damage going on here in the 05, but uh, that's going to be enough. He's going to lose the position right now to the 17 car. So there you see pass for position right now. There, 37, Kevin Kress. Still driving in the uh, 37 car there in ninth position. Kevin Crest has been out to almost every Nordgar TV mystery race that has been uh, put on. 
and I give uh, two thumbs up to Kevin for his ability uh, and his his passion for racing and uh, he has supported all these mystery races he's been a very clean racer can't tell that by the front of his vehicle but this is Bristol bitches and this is what happens at Bristol tempers flare and fiberglass gets bent and that's what happens here at Bristol Motor Speedway under the lights here on Nordgar TV this Friday night I hope you guys on the chat are having fun everybody on chat say hey I'm having fun Nordgar thank you very much I'm glad you put this on here tonight I don't know, trust and me, I, I hope everybody is right having there. a good time uh, the race was a little uh, twitchy at first uh -huh. to get started but uh, we have had yeah, a okay, lot so. of green flag run here since uh, we got a lot of the wreckers sure out of the way of and uh, a lot of the initial cautions out of the way the there we go there. we got some hey I'm having fun oh, yeah all right you viewers thank you so much for joining if you are new here please hit that follow button in the face smack it in the ass call it sally call it your mama i don't give a shit but hit it there there it is in the upper left hand corner of your screen there's lots more racing going on at norgar tv for many many weeks to come i have purchased i racing for the next two years the next two years is completely paid for so as long as you guys keep coming around i will keep bringing it to you these mystery races are a thank you to the viewers for watching my dumbass race all week and get hit all week long by other drivers uh, just for no reason at all and listening to me curse, bitch, moan, scream and cry. This is my thank you to you. I put on these mystery races. This is something you will never see on on iRacing in general. And I like to be out of the box, think out of the box, do out of the norm. I commentate off the cup. This race has been a slobber knocker thus far. And I hope all you guys are having friggin' fun because I sure as hell am. There is the 12 car of James Wilms. James Wilms, one of our buddies here at Norgar TV has made his way up to six by passing Joel there earlier. Joel has fallen back. Let's check in with Joel right now. Joel was driving, is, is driving the 08. Joel has, he's still running in seventh position, but he's losing a lot of time. Let's go on board, take a look and see his hands right now and see, listen to his engine. Man, as soon as I go on board with Joel, he comes down pit lane. Looks like he's gonna need some service on that 08 machine. I hope Joel's not quitting, but it, his car may be too screwed. What do we got going on there, Joel? I wish I could check it. Hey, Joel, you got me. Joel, do you got me? Joel, how's your fucking car? Oh, uh, well, it sucks, Norgar. It fucking sucks. Joel down there, I don't know if this is some strategy or what's going on. We can't get uh, radio communication with Joel. Hopefully we can fix that. Uh, send Dick Bergren, or better yet, send Wendy Venturini down there and have this audio fixed. And if you ha and if you can't get it done, have Wendy Venturini take off her top. It'll get fixed rather quick if she does that. She's got it. Oh, oh, caution flags out. James Wilms into the wall. That he was running guy. six. Now very, he's running shit. And let's see what happens here right now. Let's rewind it a little bit and see what the fuck happened to James. It's Jordan's fault. Blame him. All right. He's blaming Jordan right now. Jordan says, fuck you. That's bullshit. And uh, let's see what happens here between James and Jordan. <laughs> yes, I can't do an English accent by Tor. I apologize. Checking up for Ah, uh, yeah, James just gets into the wall. Jordan kind of like geeked me. him out. Let's watch this great geek on Jordan. We call this a geek because it was like, it's not oh, quite a fake, but there. it's not quite not a fake. Let's go real down. Let's go down to TV1 there. Watch, uh, we're going to watch uh, AKA Racer right now. He geeked out the number 12 car. Watch this shit. We're going to go to the rear chase. Here we go. He gets oh, down on the apron. He goes right. And James is like, oh no, let me get out of your way. And he hit the wall. James, the wall, not that wide, or the track, not that wide here. Joel was just messing with you there. And, uh, wow, James hits the wall hard a second time. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to have pit lane uh, strategies going on right now. Some people still seem to think that they're going to make it the rest of the way on fuel. And I'm going to tell you right now, 
I don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we're going to make it the rest of the way on fuel. We're going to have one more stop after this. But if it does go green uh, from here on out, we're on lap number 151. We still got uh, about 70 laps to go, 60 laps to go. This has yeah, been a long race here tonight, but when I say it's long, it's 225 laps, ladies and gentlemen, but it's 112 miles. 112 miles in a, any kind of race is not that far. I probably should have cranked it down to 75 uh, miles or something like that, but uh, I'm all about seeing who survives to the end. Jordan up there looking for his lap back. Joel looking for his lap back. Both of the drivers cursing at one another saying, you pit, no, you pit, no, you pit. I want my wave around. I, I yeah, actually think they're both going to get their wave around. Pulling under caution. I don't know if they're there. Oh, I haven't. I mean, I've been going in where my entrance is. I haven't had any problems. Apparently not, then. 94. Oh. Let's check in on the 94. 94 of Jordan Malish. <laughs> I didn't even do four He's going to be... Right? Uh, wow. 94 is, uh, he's six laps down, so he's looking to get at least one of those laps back, improve his position there. Mr. Beach is off the track and has taken his car to the trailer. Mr. Beach has retired for the evening. Too much damage, too many laps down. Take this time to take a breath, ladies and gentlemen. Drink your beer, smoke your dope, whatever you're doing tonight to have some fun eat your sandwich, yell at your wife, whatever you got to do. As the 48 comes up on the inside of the 24, who do we got left here? Kathy Kraft, she's still there. She's falling back to 10th position, but she's still hanging tough. Well, there you go, Joel. You get a spot. And Joel does get the wave around. I think Jordan does too. I don't, yep. Two cars get the wave around because they are up front. So, don't know how that happened. I didn't facilitate that, but that's what happened right there. Joel gets his lap back. Jordan gets his lap back. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Let's head back up front. Your leader right now is, as soon as I can find him, well, let's find him, find him, find him, damn it. There, the 05 down on the inside of the 17. That's not your leader, though. I don't think it might be. There we go. Scott Eckrick. Scott Eckrick in the one car has resumed the lead, taking over the lead here in this uh, long race here tonight, and he's got quite the jump on the rest of the field. Let's head back a few cars right now and uh, say, hey, Norgar, shut the hell up. I want to hear what's going on. So we're going to hear what's going on right now. We're going to head down to the cockpit of Dalton Tucker riding in fourth position as he looks ahead through third, second, and first. Crank it up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to shut up for two entire laps. <laughs> Almost three wide. 05 goes up high, man. This car pushing, pushing, pushing. I know I said I was going to shut up, but I refuse. Too much action going on here right now for uh, third position. This is quite the race right now going on for third position. Let's head back out to the TV view. 99 pushing the 17 hard as the 05 trying to hold his line all on the upper lane. The 24 and uh, the 34 looking at all this going on ahead. Mr. Beach was losing connection. That's why he exited the race. I get that information from my uh, headset right here. I got Daryl Waltrip running errands for me. And Daryl Waltrip, he is in his golf cart because he is too old to actually run. And uh, just so you know, he does dye his hair. All right, back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. As the 24 on the outside of the 05, looking to stick a nose in there. No, no, no. You still pushing? 99 does pull away from the rest of the field. He's going to assume second position. Not really. Oh, and the 24 and the 05 get together. Oh, and the 37 gets down and gets loose and hits him. That's got to bring out the yellow. What? Caution, caution, caution. That is going to bring out the Guys, yellow flag. Just quickly, just remember. 
Let's take a look at that again. We still got people wrecking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fall back a couple of laps here. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but that was a friggin' mess. Back, space, back, space, back, space, back, space. All right, let's take a look at the uh, action as it unfolds. Not live in instant replay. Focus on crashes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. James Wilms not even in the race. Here we go. This was your battle for third as... We knew this wasn't going to last too long right now. These guys pushing and shoving, trying to get around one another. That's going to bring out caution flag 946 of the night. So far, the pace car has led the most laps tonight. He's going to be awarded the uh, five bonus points for leading the most laps. Uh, yeah, that's just racing. That's a racing deal, ladies and gentlemen. That nobody's fault there. But uh, oh, and the 37 gets into the wall and then down and then hits the 05. And uh, damn, nowhere for the 48 to go. Caught, probably could have went a little high there, but he gets off the track as everybody comes back around right now. Too much here. I got a pit. Everybody got damage on vehicle their vehicle. Crap to begin with. Uh, can't get much worse. <laughs> I've been doing all right. Let's head back up live, There's ladies so and gentlemen. Going to the pit. Let's head down the pit road. Let's, uh, let's check in with. Let's check in with somebody. Uh, we got two guys taking it to the trailer, James Thank Wilms and Justin yeah, Steiner. Both running good races I, all night. I did not hit too the wall. Much, too much Pretty damage. Sure I know what happened to me. And I hit We got a few uh, takers down on pit lane. Let's check in with them. Looks like the 94 of Jordan. He's going to bring it down. TV2, please. There's the 94 of Jordan. He's bringing it down for service. Let's take a look at his car. Not too bad in the front there, and he looks like he's got a clean car, ladies and gentlemen. Jordan currently scored uh, quite a few laps down right now. Uh, we only have three cars on the lead lap, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a slobber knocker of a night here at uh, Norgard TV I Racing League or not league, but Norgar TV I racing uh, mystery race. And uh, these mystery races, they, they tend to, it's a, it's a little fishy how it's going to end up. But uh, there you can see uh, all the people who are many, many laps down. And uh, we still have a bunch of cars still out on the track right now, which is very, very good. I'm glad to see that not everybody's a quitter. But uh, some guys had to quit because they had too much damage. Some guys were ejected because they couldn't keep their mouths shut. And uh, some guys uh, just thought they were too good for this place, and obviously they weren't. So they're not still here. And uh, so here we go. A lot of guys got DQ'd. Ninety nine letting the one know he is serious, he wants to get ahead of him. We got fifty five laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. As the uh, lights on the pace car are off, we're gonna go green, green, green. Green flag. Green, green, green. Time to go bumper humping again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's me, it's Norgar TV, and I gotta tell you, we have seen a lot of automotive intercourse here tonight at Bristol Motor Speedway, and uh, I hope these guys brought their car condoms, because uh, a lot of these guys have bent over and got it up the ass, and uh, that's unfortunate for a lot of good drivers that were here tonight, but uh, Kathy Kraft out on the inside of the 94, Looking to take position. I don't know if this is for position. I don't think it is, but it's position on the track as Kathy Kraft goes by the 94. Jordan, yes, you did. You just got passed by a girl. How does that make you feel? Go, Kathy. Jordan's still hanging tough, though.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have just finished another beer. I would like to take a moment of silence so you can all hear the new one. Oh, that wasn't very good. Couldn't hear it. Anyway, just opened another beer, cracked open another one. We're ready to go here in this long race here tonight at uh, Bristol Motor Speedway. Bristol, street stock cars in the, at Bristol Motor Speedway. I racing. Have you ever even thought of this? No, you have not. I have to think of everything. And uh, so far, uh, the initial run, kind of pretty much how I expected it would go here tonight. Lots of tempers flaring, lots of cursing, lots of driver put downs. Uh, we've seen it all. I mean, I, the only thing missing from this race here tonight is actual drivers getting out of their cars and throwing their helmets at other vehicles. Jordan not happy with the comment I just made. He goes down to the inside of Kathy Kraft, and he is going to go by her. No, he's not. She's got to run it. Oh, she's trying hard. Jordan down low. What happened to Kathy? Kathy is out of the picture. Oh, the four, look at the 48. He is mangled. There's Joel Hawkins running in fourth position. What happened to Kathy? Kathy has just backed off. She has dropped back. Joel Hawkins running in fourth. Michael Redding in fifth position. Kevin Cress in seventh. Scott Eckrick, Scott Eckrick still running out front. Got a commanding lead over Dalton Tucker there in second. He's got about a six-car lead. Let's take a look at the interval. The interval is less than a second, but it's about a second. That's about the interval between first and second position, ladies and gentlemen. We need to take a look at another view. Let's take a look at a view we haven't seen in probably a couple of weeks right now. Let's go on board with, uh, let's find somebody racing close to somebody else, which there isn't. They're all strung out right now, running off laps. Uh, we still have a lot of laps to go, about 50 laps to go until the end of this race here. Uh, let's go on board with our leader and let's take a view you guys haven't seen in a couple weeks we're going to go from a view from the roll bar this is this is the view you would see if you were sitting in the passenger seat and you would say holy shit you're getting too close to the wall here we go we're going to take two laps around with our leader in the one car crank it up I've tried that ticker, Mr. Beach, and that ticker makes everything lag. And if you watch any casters other than the iRacing casters who actually use that, their feeds are not that good because they lag, lag, lag. I've tried it several times, and it lags the entire game. Until they get better programming with that, I will not run it here on Norgar TV. I've used it many times, and it just lags, lags, lags. That's why you don't see that. Sorry to disappoint. All right, so Scott Eckrick, he's extended his lead to 1.6 seconds now. Second position of Dalton Tucker there in the 99. Falling back. I don't think we've seen the end of the caution flags, though, ladies and gentlemen. We have had, uh, we've had about 74 caution flags thus far, and uh, I don't think we're done yet. I think it's a world record. No, actually, I think, we're, uh, I think we've actually had eight. I have to check the official scoring after the race is over, but I think we've had eight caution flags, which in a 225-lap uh, race really isn't that much. Uh, that's to be expected. That's and we got the 20 car. He goes down low. There is Jordan and Kathy. Yeah, uh, a couple people who do use them. I mean, you're talking seven, eight thousand dollar computer machines that use those overlays and. They have two and three guys feeding them all the information and uh, putting it up there on their forum once. I am a solo show here, ladies and gentlemen. I have been doing it all, and uh, I do my best. This, uh, you know, I do my best getting all the camera angles, getting all the commentary. I don't have anything written down. Usually, I 
take some notes for official races and stuff like that, and I actually know what I'm talking about, but it's Friday night, it's late, I've been drinking, and I don't give a shit, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the broadcast so far and have been having fun, been trying to make it as fun as possible for you guys. Uh, we still have a bunch of cars out on the track right now. Let's head up to the blimp view. The blimp view being driven by Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry did not show up for the race tonight, so he could drive. He's up there smoking his ganja and drinking his beer and eating his sandwich. And uh, I just hope Eddie, poor old Eddie, doesn't hit a bird while he's up there. But he's doing a good job bringing us these live feeds from the Goodyear blimp right now. Please don't tell Goodyear that he is under the influence. They will never let him drive again. And uh, they'll put him on suspension, and he'll just laugh, and he won't care. He'll be back a week later. That's good old Eddie. So thanks, Eddie, for the, uh, the aerial shots there from the Goodyear blimp. Let's head over to the other aerial shots being driven by Steve Bush. Steve Bush, who has also been smoking and drinking tonight. He is driving uh, Chopper 69. Chopper 69 brought to you by Steve Bush. And uh, Mary Jane, head on down to your favorite dispensary and get your Mary Jane. Make sure you show them their card or give them a call. They'll have it delivered to you. All right, let's head back up. Let's go to uh, let's go to the chase view as the 20 car comes back off Jordan. There, we are looking at the rear end of Kathy Kraft, following Jordan. Let's move up a few positions here. 13. We still got at least 13 cars out on the track. I'm not sure what the 20 is doing here. I'm about to give the 20 car a warning. I just completed laps. Hey Michael, I'm just completing laps on the apron. I hear your commentary. Okay, you hear me, 20 car? Just don't cause an accident, buddy. I don't care if you're out there, but don't cause an accident, man. I would rather you fix your car and wait five, do five minutes of uh, repairs on your car than run on the apron. But uh, do what you got to do. Just don't get in the way of everybody else. I appreciate it. Oh, the 08 up into the wall. It hit the wall. All right. 20 car does uh, not want to finish last, so yeah, he's running on the apron. I will allow it. Normally, I would boot you from the race for this, but I'm going to allow it here tonight. He's not causing any problems. He's not He's not being dirty about it. He just wants to stay out there and run laps, and I appreciate it, 20 car. Thank you for sticking around. As Scott Eckrick, Eckrick there in the one car, led early, lost the lead. And then got the lead back. He's still up front as the 34 there on the inside of the 37. Kevin You're Crest welcome. there in the 37 gets passed by the 34. Don't believe that was for a position. Let's take a look at the running order right now as they run. Still, only, we only have three cars on the lead lap. Scott Eckrick, Dalton Tucker, and Dustin Riccioni are the only three cars left on the lead lap. The first car a lap down, Joel Hawkins in fourth position. Uh, fifth position, Jordan Malice. Sixth position, Kathy Kraft. Seventh position, Kevin Crest. Eighth position, Michael Redding. You guys, thank you for so much for hanging out right now. We still have... About four, no, we only got about uh, 15 laps to go. 15 laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't think we're going to see another car, or uh, another, uh, at least green flag pit stop. We haven't seen any green flag pit stops yet, unless people had damage. Well, we got 15 laps to go to the end of this race right now, so we're going to head back out front right now with Scott Eckrick. Scott Eckrick running. He's coming up on the back of the 34 car, looking to get around with no problem. She goes wide, lets, the, lets him go by. 
Not sure if we're going to see a uh, race here as long as Scott keeps his pace right now. Scott should be okay, but this is Bristol Motor Speedway. Anything can happen here. The 48 car of Brian Hudak, he is back out on the track after extensive, extensive damage being fixed to his front end. He's really back long. out on the track in 10th place. So happy to see so many drivers still here this late in the race. Jordan Malish currently running 5th in the 94 car. Jordan's car looks clean. I don't know if he used a reset or not, but whether he did or not, uh, we got the leader coming up on him now, about to put him another lap down right now. And going on. You guys still left in the race. You guys watching here on Norgar TV. Former participants and ones that uh, I didn't boot. I only booted one guy. I'm sure he's mad at me, but that's too bad. Uh, you guys have all been great sports tonight, racing this uh, race here tonight here at Bristol Motor Speedway here in Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, you will not see, like I said, you will not see this kind of a race here at iRacing. I throw some of the most off-the-wall races on iRacing. All you need to do is look for under-hosted racing is Mystery Race, Nordgar TV, or uh, Livecast Now. And that is me, it's me. Nordgar TV, I bring you all the crazy shit you will never get to see anywhere else. And uh, some people like it, some people don't. Some of the races are really awesome. Some of them suck real bad. This one's been pretty good so far. Uh, we had a lot of cautions early on, but we've had a nice couple of long green flag runs. And for that and the racers that have participated in this, I thank you very much for putting on a good show for me and my viewers, keeping me entertained, keeping my viewers entertained. And thank you so much, guys, for participating. But uh, as the laps are winding down, we're not going to see anybody else come in. Everybody's kicking, fighting, and screaming for every spot they can get right now. Joel Hawkins there in the 08, running in fourth position. You keep my uh, stream open? There is Michael Redding. He's down on the apron right now in the 05. This was your earlier leader this evening. Looks like he's got some problems as he comes back up on the. Uh, he's not st not coming back up on the track. 94 and the 34 and the 99 go by him. The 99, who was also your leader earlier on, where is he? 99. Come on, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. There he is, Dalton Tucker, in second position. Hoping the leader will screw up. Hoping he'll hit the wall. Hoping he'll get loose. I my thumb here. My thumb is just about killing me right now. That is second position. Goes down on the inside of the 34, Kathy Kraft. I see 99, you got the inside uh, coming up turn. Jordan, uh, Going high this time. 94 there, relaying uh, information to tell the 99 to go by. We're going to focus up on the leader right now, Scott Eckrick. Scott Eckrick. Doing a good job right now, holding it out front right now. His lead is 3.5 seconds over the 99 of Dalton Tucker. The 99 still has a chance. We still may have a race here. Uh, if Scott decides to get loose, I'm not. Actually, the 99 is. He may be gaining on him. Let's take a look this time by. See if we have enough laps to go. No, we don't. We are on lap number 225 right now. Last lap, white flag lap right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to have time to get there unless the one car screws up. That is Scott Eckrick in the number one car as the 20 stays down low. Coming out of turn four right now down the front stretch. And Scott Eckrick is your winner of the Nordgar TV 112-mile race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Under the lights here tonight, Friday night. Thank you Good all for participating. Let's go through the running order. I hope Scott I does a one. celebration. Like a spoiler right there. Here is your winner as all the other cars pull off to congratulate him. There is your winner of the 225 mile an hour race, or 225 mile race, 225 lap race. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining. Thank you to all the participants. Thank you to the viewers. As you see, the one car down there doing his victory donuts. Good job, Scott, for hanging tough all night, keeping your car clean. 
and winning this real long race here tonight on Norgard TV. Good job. The 99 goes by him, and uh, he stops to wave at him and congratulate him. Good job, Scott. Good, good job to let's go through the finishing order here real quick right now. First position uh, was uh, Scott Eckrick there in the one. Dalton Tucker there in the 99. He will finish second. Third position, Dustin Riccioni. Fourth position, Joel Hawkins. Four laps down, but he still finished fourth. There is a reverse celebration. Good job. Uh, fifth position, Jordan Malish. Sixth position, Kathy Kraft drives from the clear of the back of the field. Uh, she's eight laps down, but she stayed with it all night long and comes home with a top ten. Comes home six. Good job, Kathy, in the 34. Uh, seventh position, Kevin Kress. Eighth position, Michael Redding, who had some trouble in midway through the race. He led the first part of this thing, and uh, he will come home eighth. Ninth position, Brian Hudak in the 48. Tenth position, Justin Steiner. Eleventh position, James Wilms. Twelfth position, David Brownell. Thirteenth position, Christopher Drum. Fourteenth position, Mr. Beach. Fifteenth position, Joshua Fredericks. Sixteenth position, Richard Schwint. 17th position, Jesse King. 18th position, Donnie Schubert. 19th position, Troy Eaton. And 20th position, who was 188 laps down, Jeff Auger. Thank you all so much for hanging on.